Sing it. You will know that all I need. Cause you will know. Draw me, Lord, sing it to the king. Draw me, draw me, Lord. Lord, come running after you. I'm gonna run after you, Jesus. Draw me, draw me, draw me, Lord. And I'll come running after you. You alone are all I need. Cause you are alone Tell him to draw me, draw me, Lord. Draw me. Come on. Draw me, Lord. And I'll come running after you. Come on. Draw me. Draw me, Lord. And I'll come running after you. Glory to God. Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy, we join our faith with your wonderful people on this morning. Father, we ask you to minister to them. We ask you to teach them the word of God. Give them wisdom. Give them knowledge. Give them understanding from the scriptures. The apostle Paul said that the scriptures are able to make one wise. Give us wisdom if there's ever a time. We need your wisdom. It's now in these last and evil days that we are living in. We look to you. That word, like David said, is a lamp to our feet and a light unto our path. Psalms 119 verse 130 says, The entrance of that word, it gives light. It gives understanding unto the symbol. Speak to us this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say, Amen. Glory to God. I'm On this morning, I'm talking about this. You need good friends. You need good friends in your life. You cannot do this by yourself. You need good friends. And I pray in the name of Jesus that God would begin to bring new people into your life in this season because you need them. You cannot do this by yourself, friends. You need good Holy Ghost friends. Let's see this. I want to go into the Word this morning. And Saul spoke to Jonathan, his son, and to all his servants that they should kill David. <laughs> you know this man's really demon-possessed, huh? David is the one who played under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, set King Saul free from demons. David was the one when King Saul and all his army was pretty much fainting and passing out like a bunch of cowards because of Goliath. God had already anointed David and used him with a, to bring about a mighty deliverance. By killing Goliath, he avoided the whole nation of Israel to be of becoming slaves to the Philistines. That was a mighty victory that God brought about 
through David. And yet King Saul is telling Jonathan, David's best friend and all his servants, that they should kill David, the one who God has anointed, the one who God has chosen, the one through whom the Messiah, the Lord Jesus, would come through. I don't care how much we preach on David. I never, ever want you to forget why, ultimately, why he had so much favor, why his gift was able to make room for him. Because the Messiah, the Lord Jesus, would come through David. David was connected to the plan of God. When you are connected to God's plan, there's favor, there's open doors, there's provision, there's protection, there is direction. Are you listening to me? Don't ever lose sight of that. The Messiah would come through David. You can't kill him. If you can kill him, you can stop the plan of God. Ain't no one, no man or no devil is that powerful. Come on, somebody. But Jonathan, Saul's son, delighted much in David. This is God. You see why God had to knit Jonathan and David's heart together? It was so that when the time would come for King Saul to try to kill David, Jonathan wasn't going with it. God is hooking you up, and this is why you, you can't let your head get in the way. If you see the Holy Ghost is connecting your heart to somebody, that's the person. Don't, don't, don't overrule the connection that God's given you in your heart and trying to look in the natural and trying to chase behind folk and make certain things happen. If you got to chase behind and try and make it ain't God. Go with the divine connection. You know when the Holy Ghost connects you with people. He is. He knows all things. You are going to have to trust God. You are going to have to trust the Holy Ghost. Trust that, that connection. You can tell when a connection is divine and from God. But Jonathan, Saul's son, delighted much in David. And Jonathan told David, saying, Saul, my father, seek it to kill thee. I'm telling you, you need good friends. Cherish those friendships that God's using to pour into your life. Cherish them. Some people, you know, it troubles me. Some people don't even realize when God's trying to send you in their life for their own protection. They know you coming into, you, into their life. All kind of good has been happening. Miracles are happening. Doors are opening up. Favor is happening. And yet they want to, if you throw a divine connection in the trash can, you are going to pay a hefty price. You may even die before your time. If you throw somebody away that God has ordained and assigned to your life, you may die before your time and never fulfill the will of God and the plan of God for your life. You better listen to me real good. It is amazing how God can bring divine connections to people and they just take it lightly, they treat it flippantly, they 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 don't they don't show appreciation. And you know the Bible says in the last days, people are gonna be ungrateful, haughty, high minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Those folks are dangerous. You better learn to recognize and cherish divine connections. I'm warning somebody. Watch this. But Jonathan, Saul's son, delighted much in David. And Jonathan told David, saying, My father seeketh to kill thee. Now, therefore, I pray thee, take heed to thyself until the morning. And abide in a secret place and hide thyself. You need good friends like Jonathan who would say, uh-uh, uh-uh, those folk ain't for you. Those folk are trying to set a trap. Listen, I've had people in my life who warned me and who defended me and stood up for me whilst other folk were plotting. Even in church, the devil have a group of people who will oppose you. I hope you're listening to me. Everybody that lift in their hand and rock into the music ain't saved and ain't full of the Holy Ghost and ain't sold out to Jesus. But thank God for the Jonathans. God's got a Jonathan. 
Ha ha bakasaya. the Jonathans are coming. I hear the Holy Ghost. Ah Basha. I feel it. I hear it. I hear it in my spirit. The Jonathans are coming. The Jonathans are coming. Somebody lift your hands. There's a breakthrough. There's a breakthrough right there. The Jonathans are coming. The Jonathans are coming to your life. The Jonathans are coming. The Jonathans are coming. God open our eyes. Help us to recognize every Jonathan that you send our way. Every Jonathan that you connect us with. Every Jonathan you bring into our life. Help us to recognize the Jonathans and help us to cherish them. The Jonathans are coming. I hear the Holy Ghost say the Jonathans are coming. The Jonathans are coming. The Jonathans are coming. Glory to God. Someone type below this video. My Jonathan is coming. My Jonathan is coming. My good friend is coming. The Jonathans are coming. The Jonathans. The Jonathans. The Jonathans are coming. Kibaba mama do 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 boko se. Ramando basha bana na 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 e. Lo brama masia. Shoko to ramama mande. The Jonathans are coming. Glory to God. Glory to God. The Jonathans are coming. And I rebuke the pain out of that right leg again. There's someone else. That right leg. That pain shoots down from the back of your hip socket area all the way down. Going towards the your knee and the back of your leg. I rebuke it. I rebuke it. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Be healed from that problem in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Be healed right now. The Jonathans are coming. The Jonathans are coming. The Jonathans are coming. The Jonathans are coming. Jonathan said, keep me right there. A little softer. Jonathan said, Take heed to thyself until the morning and abide in a secret place and hide thyself. And I will go out and stand beside my father in the field where thou art. And I will commune with thy father of thee. And what I see, that I will tell thee. I need friends in my life like that. You need friends in your life like that. And I have friends in my life like that. I just need more of them. Thank God for the Jonathans. I hear the Holy Ghost saying it. The Jonathans are coming. Somebody lift your hands to heaven. The Jonathans are coming. The Jonathans are coming. The Jonathans are coming. I hear it again. The Jonathans are coming. Lord, we humble ourselves and we receive the Jonathans that you are sending into our lives. We receive the Jonathans that you are sending into our lives. We receive the Jonathans with open heart and open arms. We receive them in the name of Jesus. Now watch this. And Jonathan spake good of David unto Saul his father and said unto him, Let not the king sin against his servant against David because he has not sinned against thee because his works have been to thee would very good his work towards you have been good for he did put his life in his hand and slew the Philistine and the Lord wrought a great salvation for all Israel thou sawest it and didst rejoice wherefore then will thou sin against innocent blood to slay David without a cause. And Saul hearkened unto the voice of Jonathan. And Saul swear, as the Lord liveth, he shall not be slain. But Saul didn't mean it. And Jonathan called David, and Jonathan showed him all those things. And Jonathan brought David to Saul, and he was in his present presence as in time past. And there was war, and David went out and fought with the Philistines and slew them with a great slaughter and they fled from him and the evil spirit from the Lord was upon Saul 
as he sat in his house with his javelin in his hand. And David played with his hand. And Saul sought to smite David even to the wall with the javelin. But David slipped away out of Saul's presence. And he smote the javelin into the wall. And David fled and escaped that night. Saul also sent messengers unto David's house to watch him and to slay him in the morning. And Michal, David's wife, told him, saying, If thou save not thy life tonight, tomorrow thou shalt be slain. So first David had Jonathan to look out for him. Then he had his, he had his own wife, Michal, who loved David to look out for him. You need people in your life, saints. You can't do this by yourself. The Jonathans are coming. I'm going to see a victory. Your Jonathan's coming. The Jonathans are coming. The Jonathans are coming. Me and Pastor Amy pray for you on this morning. That God would open your spiritual eyes to see and recognize and discern properly every Jonathan that God brings into your life who will have your back, who will love you, who will cherish you, who will respect the anointing on your life, who will not be jealous of you, who will not feel challenged or intimidated by you, but will genuinely love you and will watch your back and have your back and be willing to fight for you and stand up for you and defend you because you are connected to the plan of God. Lord, we thank you for speaking to us this day and making your will known to us through the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible says a brother is born for adversity. Thank God the Jonathans are coming to stand with us to support the preaching of the gospel. Visit us online, seanpinder.net forward slash give. If you have our ministry app on our phone, you can also give through our ministry app. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zell account the ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. That address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. Never forget me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy. We love you. We appreciate you so much. And we ask you, share this video with at least five of your friends that you know need a word of encouragement. Share it, share it through WhatsApp, Snapchat, LinkedIn, TikTok, however you can share this video. Help us get this message around the world. We love you, God bless you. Look forward to being with you again on tomorrow. Take care, bye-bye.